Hello guys, it's Johnny Tam and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today we are going to learn how can we do emergency withdrawal from PancakeSwap in case it's something happened, maybe the website is down, maybe it suffered from a denial of service attack, maybe there is some kind of problem with the smart contract or you just want your tokens ASAP as soon as possible in your wallet. So in that case you can do emergency withdrawal using Binance BSC scan website directly with a smart contract. So that's a bit technical and that's what we're gonna learn today. Um, if you're not familiar with what PancakeSwap is or Syrupools or any other things that we want to learn about DeFi or PancakeSwap, make sure to check out my channel. I have a lot of educational videos that you can watch and learn more and get more DeFi education and get your financial freedom through it. Also, please consider to subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification button so when I upload new videos, you can actually watch them and learn more. I also want to thank to your Adonan, all the music that you're now listening to is by him. He's the creator of the music. And if you like the music and you want to listen to more of his beautiful pieces, make sure to check in the description below his SoundCloud channel. Now let's get into business. So in that case, we're gonna talk about Pool's emergency withdrawal. We will have another tutorials about farms in PancakeSwap, but today we're gonna show how we're gonna do it with Pool's. So in this example, we have one cake that is being staked in the manual cake syrup farm. The first thing that you want to do in order to emergency withdrawal tokens is to understand what is the pool ID that your tokens are being staked on. Every pool in PancakeSwap have a pool ID. And now I'm telling you that manual cake pool, it's the first pool in the smart contract and the ID is zero. Basically the ID increments by one, it's an integer that increments from zero, one, two, three, four, etc, etc. And this manual cake is basically zero, so you don't have to check it because I told you already, but if it's another pool, you will have to check the pool ID. So right now I have one cake stake and let's say I cannot unstake it from the website so I want to do it through directly with the smart contract. So what I'm gonna do is click here, view contract and basically it will open a link to the bscscan.com website. Make sure that you are on the right domain so there will be no scams on the bscscan website. And you can see right here that this is the PancakeSwap main staking contract. This is the alias, the name for this contract and this is actually the contract that respons responds for all the staking through the PancakeSwap platform, if it's Syrupools or Farms. You can see the amount of tokens that this contract holds. This is a lot of tokens and this is basically the main contract. So you're gonna scroll down a bit and click here on the contract button. This is the technical contract information. You can read the code here, uh, call some read functions to the contract or write functions to the contract. The first thing that I want to show you is basically how to check the pool info. So I'm going to click here, read contract in this button. You can see, by the way, if I go back to code, that the contract name is called MasterChef. This is the main contract that is responsible for all the staking. But I will click read contract, scroll down a bit to the function that's called pool info. This function basically get an integer, a number. So I'm going to send it zero. Zero is the pool number of the cake token. I will click query here and now this is the result of the function so I can see here the LP token that has been returned this is the token that actually is uh, connected to this kind of pool so I can click here open a new tab and basically I can confirm right now that you can see here this is the cake token so this pool is responsible for the cake token this is the right pool that I want to withdraw my funds from now I close it and basically you can try any other number, maybe 500, click query, there is no pool 500, maybe 450 and no pool, 400 maybe? Yeah, so I will click here and you can see just another example. In that case, we have this liquidity pool token that's responsible for the liquidity of KTN uh, with what? Let's see with what? This is another farm that exists in the smart contract with wrapped BNB. That's just an example. So now I'm going to click write contract because I'm gonna send a function that actually goes to the blockchain. All the read functions, they will not cost you any gas and they will not change anything in the state of the blockchain. But when you click write contract, you're actually gonna send transactions that are 
changing the state of the blockchain so it's gonna cost some gas so the first thing that you have to do is to connect your metamask wallet or any other web3 wallet to the bc scan website so i'm gonna click here connect to web 3.0 right here i'm gonna click on metamask and click ok and then the wallet will be connected automatically now when the wallet is connected you can actually send transactions to the contract directly to this website with your wallet now we'll scroll down until we find the function called emergency withdrawal. As you can see, the function gets a, a parameter that's called pool ID. This is the same pool ID that we just talked about. Do you remember which number it is? You are right, it's zero, the zero. The pool ID is zero because this is the pool that's responsible for the cake token. But another, you have to bear in mind another note about this kind of function emergency withdrawal is basically that you will not get your pending rewards. So if you have some kind of rewards that you did not harvest, you will not get them because this is an emergency withdrawal. You will just take your, you basically will just get your stake token back to your own wallet, but you will not call the, basically the rewards. If you want to get also the rewards, you can call this function instead, leave staking, or there are other functions, but I'm not gonna cover them in this video. This video is dedicated for emergency withdrawal. Just I want you to bear in mind that you might, not you might, you will not get your rewards, but just the tokens that you staked. So I'm gonna click here zero. This is the pool number. If it's another pool, then it will be a different number. And I will click right. And now it will prompt a MetaMask transaction. I'm gonna put a slightly higher fee because right now the Binance Smart Chain have some issues. So I'm gonna put 5.5 GWI and confirm. And now the transaction has been sent to the blockchain. I can click here, view your transaction. And there you go, now the transaction is pending in the mempool and in few seconds, it should be processed by the miners. And I should see that my, basically my one cake token is back in my wallet and not inside the pool all right so meanwhile um i want you i want to basically remind you that you can subscribe to my channel and if you like this video i will really appreciate if you click the like button so youtube algorithm can expose it to more people and consider sharing it with friends that are interested in DeFi and crypto so they can learn more and get more education and that's how most of us will not get scammed that will go through this journey with me in the DeFi space and cryptocurrencies and blockchains. So I will really appreciate it. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below and I will try to answer to every single one of them. Usually if you are subscribing to my channel, you see that I always answer to all the questions because I want to help you guys and bring as much value as I can to this kind of ecosystem. And right now you can see that the transaction went through and I got back my cake tokens. Also, if we will go here, this is my wallet. You can see basically that uh, I have now $31. And if I will click here, we will see that actually I got back my cake token. So that's it. That's the tutorial. I hope you like it. And again, please consider liking and sharing with friends. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.